Hi, welcome. You are on my ISO Builder computer. So the sound is gonna be a little bit worse. I've just moved my webcam to uh, in front of me. So um, this is XFC Openbox i3. It's the flagship ISO. It's the ISO Builder. It means uh, was this the command? Yeah, last. This is a ISO, well, from May 21513. So I guess it's last year, May, that this SSD is running. So there is no need to do a clean install. You can always keep on updating, updating, updating. So I'll probably do a switch or a clean install maybe in July or August or something like that when where everything is slowing down and we are in holiday. But there's no need to do a clean install. A clean install is done because you have fun doing it. So this machine is already almost in a, a year old. So that's my message at first. I've told in the Big Daddy Linux um, video or meeting or whatever you want to call it, stream, that um, we should, we should, we all should, more uh, film what we do so the backend story of everything and the thing the work i'm gonna do now is uh, concerns the arc theme and the arc theme um well there is this demand of the guys who is taking it over because there's lots of work involved in maintaining the arc theme so if you type in linux arc and then theme you will probably get it already. I would have typed Nico with it as well, because this one is the old one. That's the old uh, developer, and Nico Hood is the new one. So I would have typed GitHub as well. So we certainly have the top here. So that's ours. We don't need to see that. And this is this is Nico Hood. Uh, at least I'm on uh, the website already on the GitHub already. So I'm gonna go over here. And this is the arc design arc theme that's archived now. I see, I didn't notice that uh, the word archived was there previously. Let's take a look. That's the icon theme for the icon theme thing. Fort from Horst. So, yeah. So, I'm guessing this is the one they were working on. Let's have a look. Issues from opened 11 days ago, 12 days ago. Ago. So that's how you know if something is, is actually been worked upon, right? So did somebody push a commit to the system? So nine, again, nine days ago, uh, ago, an update in the read need MD. This project needs maintainers to continue. The current maintainers do not have the bandwidth to continue. But it's not that they don't have, don't have the bandwidth in internet terms in, and in surf terms but it's uh, a lot of work to maintain projects and this is a huge project so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um, make our art themes control alt uh, m control alt m is going to work on all our desktops it will provide us some kind of system setting if you're on um, Plasma, it will be system setting of uh, Plasma, and otherwise from Cinnamon, and otherwise from Mate. Right, so Ctrl Alt M. Appearance, we are loving Arc, and as standard, we have Arc Dark, but we have lots and lots and lots of other choices because we've made a script. Um, well, first there was no script, but first you think about it and you try to figure out how do I change the colors, the blue color from arc into something else another color so that's what we've done and it just does not happen overnight we are no gurus and we want you to know that as well that and you start slowly right and i was on linux mint uh four or five years maybe ago at this point in time and um, i started making little scripts for the arc theme colora so Let's have a look at the timetable. Can't we see a when when did it start and so on? So three years ago, it says up here. But um, okay, that's enough to know. 
it was around a few years ago. Now, we have here the Argonix arc themes, and I've built them some day ago. Let's have a look. Can we see this in the PAMAC updater? So, categories, repositories, uh, arc uh, repo, that's where you are. This one, I think I saw already a date. I clicked it away. No, it's not the date. Is there a date here? Build date 24 October. So that's not so bad, but six months of developing is not in our um, version with the colors, right? The art theme is always updated. It's coming from Arch. So the blue one, the standard one. But ours does not have the latest, newest development until March. So we are five months short. Now, since the well, the, the, the project seems to be ending here anyway, um, frozen in time, it says, right? So this is it. We um, better update till, till the latest of the last version, right? So I have with it with that knowledge from four or five years ago, I think even I've made an, a GitHub. It's on, on the GitHub as backup, right? That's why we use Git for our example and also to share with other people the knowledge, right? So um, this is, I did not close it. I did not close it. So Arconix Arc Themes, it's the same thing. Just wanted to be sure. One, two, use this for just one team. So back here, it's just the same thing. Now I want to install everything. So get the necessary software. What's in here? Anybody can make a script. So it's also going to be a little bit about scripting. So checking the presence of LSB release. So all of this is not necessary. Everything is just already installed. But it's a little um, script that says, look, uh, take a look if indeed there is LSB release. And, and if not, well, if, if Pacman is there, just install Pacman. And uh, at, at some point in time, I was still on Debian, right? So apt cat install and Solus is here as well. So I had, I was dabbling with different distros at this point in time. It's just <laughs> Arco Linux, Arch Linux, and anything Arch Linux based. So lots of cases, the case structure is either it's this and the distro is an, the one you find with this command. So you can copy paste these things. So you can say copy and then go up here, control shift V, Bum. And so that's a word. And if that word, so put that word inside the variable, and then this variable gets a dollar. So you can see you're working on Arch Linux, Arco Linux, Linux Mint, Ubuntu Capital, and all that. And then they have to install all of this in Linux Mint, in Arch, Arch Merge, Arch Dog, uh, Arco Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B. You get all that. I guess I have that. But I don't know. So we'll see, we'll run it. And for Solus, haven't booted it up or installed it like years. So we install only the software depending on the test where you're on. Fine, so get the necessary stuff. Okay, everything is installed, of course, right? So that's okay. Mm. So next up, Figure out the color accent of your new art theme online with GPIC and other software and change the color of the variable new color one in the next script. But of course, I've made this, uh, I've also made it automatically. So some counting, team count is zero. So I know team, team one is ready, team two is ready and so on. And in this case, I've made, I seem to have made a choice here to have only Casablanca and Crimson, so something might have gone wrong. And then you just take the ones, or free take the ones that you need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three. I suppose they're all there. The easiest way to check is gonna be here, I think. 
So this is not ours, but one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Did I jump this one? Damn. Again. So aqua, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty three, twenty four. Okay, Tori is the last one. So, what it's going to do, I've given him an, an array, so a lot of things. I've given him a, um, a list of. And in that array, I'm going to say take the number one, right? So, zero for M, M in arrow name. Okay, so it's going to take aqua, the first one. M is aqua. So, case is aqua, then go for choice aqua, new color. And so on. So these colors are color codes. Actually, quite easy to figure out color codes because it's just in the browser. It's like, huh? Yeah, it is. So just type it in like this. Boom. You got a color, right? You want another color, you decide the color. You can switch around. And you can have it in RGB or in hexadecimal. In this case, we need this without a hashtag. So blood, Botticelli, Casablanca. So he's going through the list, he's going to say, oh, it's aqua this time, he's going to for a loop for next. In case it is aqua, then do this, in case it's blood, then do this. And at the bottom, we have changed the variables, and at the bottom we say, we start creating a theme count, so number, count number one. And so here we say, uh, add zero plus one, so it, it goes for one number one and what's the choice the choice is let's think aqua right so the choice at that point in time is aqua and next time around it will be the second and so on so um using the color the color comes from the hexadecimal code changing all blue colors into all these things so if i figured out at some point in time that particular color is there that particular color is there and so on but maybe they've changed something i need to write an extra line so an extra RGB function has been a while um, but I do see that it's from small to capital because sometimes developers are not that particular you know because it will work if it's small or uh, big it will work but the thing is when I want to replace a color that has a, a big E then great it will work but if it has a small E then it says that's not the same, that's another ASCII code, it's something else. So, no, um, I need to make sure that everything is, is capital, stuff like that. Um, accounting, the color change, RGB function, you can, RGB A function, that's another thing for transparency. So, I do not write these things, as like we said in the Big Daddy show there, uh, we look up on things, we, we Google things and we find code and say, Oh, a good idea and then we take parts of the code and uh, rewrite it into what we need to have and at some point in time we say let's get inside the arc theme common and execute some things so execute to change the color the first color into the second color the old color in the new color the blue color in the uh, first aqua color and so on there are some rgba functions in the sense that there is hexadecimal right but this is not hexadecimal so this is something else so i need to do something with the code and make sure that works and if everything is changed if the code is changed then i just do what arc website says i should do so on here we're probably going to say somewhere how to install it right so this one build and install do this do that and that's exactly what i do do this do that so I have my art theme, I'm going to install it, CD it, and then we have to move everything. 
if it's created, if there is a no hidden filer, make one, okay, it's a hidden folder. So the output is going into the dot theme. So I'm not, I'm not overwriting the original ones. I'm, I'm putting them aside. So later I can package them and send them to you all. So it's going to the dot themes, but um, the script as, as such is built that it is going to overwrite arc and arc dark because they do not have an arc aqua, right? But we do want to name it arc aqua because in the end we want to choose it in here and we can't use the same name over and over again, right? It's, it's arc and arc dark and, and arc darker, but we need to give it its proper name, its own name. So hence uh, the, day, the, the idea here to change the name of the folder, but you have to think further than that. That's one thing, but you also need to change the name inside the index theme as well. So that's where we go and then change things in here and make sure everything is, is in order. So that the system, any Linux system will find because this is, of course, not, not just Arc Linux. This is just a team, like an icon, like a wallpaper. Why would a wallpaper not work on another system? Why would a team not work on another uh, Linux system? So it's Linux uh, teaching here. It's not uh, anything Arc or Arch related. And then afterwards, I'm going to remove the, the things he put on there. So inside user share teams, I have now a changed so not the original arc and arc darker i have a aqua look there so hence um, me deleting everything and going up back to the loop going up here so i probably went through it too quickly and i don't want to make it too technical but basically um it's a start to if you take a look at it and then see uh, whether you can use it for other projects you have in mind I'm just gonna run this thing. Let me put you in here and let me put you here. So he's going through the motions. Let's maybe try to follow it. Here is already installing. So the clean install is already done. And that's the fun of course for scripting, right? So here we get all these RGBA things. So that's down here. And that's um, great, add, add echo things, add text in it. Because then you know um, at this point in time, where is he? So uh, let's have a look. He should be at this point, he's here somewhere, right? He's auto reconfiguring, so the, so the auto generator makes install. That's what we see here. Oh, he wants to have a password. And I see an invalid GNOME shell. So. That's not going to work. I have an issue, Houston. We have an issue. I don't think that's going to work ever because of the problem there. So control C, no such file, no such file, no such file. So invalid GNOME shell version. Okay, GNOME shell, what's, what's about, what's that about? So GNOME shell, what's this? Oh, sorry, I just wanted to do that version. Okay. 3360. I suppose that's updated. I wouldn't know why it wouldn't be updated. So that's the very last thing. Okay. And up we go. Figuring out stuff. Control find GNOME shell. Disable GNOME shell support. With GNOME shell, build another for a specific version. Okay, we couldn't do that at some point in time, maybe. So, GNOME shell, which supports GTK3, GTK based. What else? For GTK, I wonder if I have SASC, SASC, I suppose so. But, never suppose. I ran the script there. Uh, okay. Could not lock database. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this one. Sure, install, reinstall it. 
Okay, it was installed, so that's not the problem. Then we go to common extra. What was it again? Like five months ago, GNOME Shell. 3.18. Uh -huh. Switch symbolic link for 3.34. He seems to have stopped at 34. What happens if I downgrade, downgrade to GNOME Shell 34? Let's take number 29. Oh, that's not a number. Num lock. 29 is the very last 3.34. Let's see if that is what it needs. Another thing, is something open still? Yeah, something is open now. New. No. And let's do that again. So 20, 30, 30 it's now, okay. 30 is the last number 34. Let's see. We put it of course on the ignore package, otherwise we'll see always these updates coming. Ooh, 48 updates. Anyway, um, let's try to run this thing again. See if that is what it needs. We just want to build a theme, right? And yeah, GNOME Shell 36 will not be then supported, I suppose. We'll see. There is not that much difference often in these things. And it will work as well with 36. Okay, so there are libraries, cannot open library, control C, stop, stop, stop. Um, so error mail loading fair line and the mother clutter. <laughs> Lip mother clutter cannot open shared file message file directory. Ah, yeah. So try specifying the version you're using with. Maybe we should do that. So the tip from up here. Nope, down here. So control find version. GNOME shell version. So this is what they suppose. They say, try to run it like that, or the lip mother clutter. Let's try that first. I'm gonna downgrade lip mother clutter. <laughs> nah, like that, right? No. With five then? No. Mm, let's see. Back, help me. Control find. Or just start typing. What's that all about? We have mother. If we install mother, uh -huh. three, three, six. Everything should be the same version then, right? So mother has a lip mother. And um, if you want to see dependencies, uh, probably some in here provides, provides lip mother. So he wants to have a number five. We have a version six. Bam. Doesn't work. So number 40 again. Number 34 as version. Now let's see if we can figure it out like this. Oops. So add mother to ignore. Yes, please. I want to build my arc links, arc themes. Keep your fingers crossed. And that's what we do in the back end. We are just dabbling about like noobs and figuring out things and. Um, Again, we have a problem, so control C. Now we have a lib gnome desktop 3 thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it would be better to use the, <laughs> the variable, but I am stubborn. I want to do it like this. So now we have a lib gnome thing. Um, probably gnome desktop or something. Gnome desktop. We would provide 
a lib GNOME desktop. Yay! I found it in the first go. But again, it's trial and error. Just take a guess. Look at that. She's talking to me in my pocket here. Maybe I didn't hear it, but it's the Bixby sound. Just woke up her. Woke her up. Um, so let's get another ground downgrade for the GNOME desktop. I hope that's going to be the last one. 34 as well, number 10. Downgrade is such a great tool. It is. Okay. Come on. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Go, 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 go. It's in the build process where it goes wrong. That is now. Bam. Pipe wire again. Libraries, pipe wire. Gnome shell. Everything is so linked to each other. That's misery, it is. Pipe wire, indeed. Pipe wire is there. You gotta be patient. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 0 0.2, yep. 0 0.3. Number 5. Go for it, my friends. Don't bug me now again. I'm making a video. Surely they know that. And misery again. Because once we get through, voila, once we get through, it the, the video is finished. I mean, it is now going to run to all kinds of um, applications. Opti PNG is uh, to optimize PNGs. It's going to export things as SVGs. No, as PNGs. It's not an uh, icon from uh, Savio Surfing. Those are SVGs. And uh, he's quietly, <laughs> yeah, it says quiet, he's quietly creating things. Now, can we see something? Can I show you something? So there's an art theme in here. That's coming from the GitHub. That's now frozen. We are going to, let me think, in the common, I think it is. So here there are lots of scripts to make a file, to make a art theme, and lots of, um, well, the settings of um, the machine. What is interesting for you, I think, is um, going to the, not that, going to the, not that, mm, this one. No, those are SCSS. So this is all the, the coloring code, all the coloring in case of cinnamon. I think I need to go one up. Now I'm looking for something specific. There's also the art plank, as you can see. Art enable, scripts, no, build, no. I'm looking for the big SS, SVG thing. That uh, has to be somewhere. I thought it was here, maybe in here. Here we have what I was looking for, but it's not exactly what I was, I'm looking for. But uh, okay, so we have here the buttons. So we have the stuff that is going to make up our system. But it's just a small portion of it. It's the assets for XFCE, but there are more bigger things I suppose it's gonna be in here. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Assets, assets, yeah, probably. No. So this is oh yeah. So you see things happening, moving things here, right? So what he's doing is getting from a big SVG that we'll fi soon find. He's get he's ripping out elements and changing it these in the um, aqua color. So this is the aqua look. Uh, we can see it here, right? So the coloring, this is the coloring of aqua. So the icons will also be having the color of aqua and not the standard blue art theme. That's the point. So we are now working on a version of GTK, so like 3.18. And here we have the assets. That's the one I want to show you. Look at that. 
So with the scripts, we change the colors from the standard blue into a, an aqua, a red, an orange, a yellow, a green. And that's what we basically do, change this thing. And if you change the original one, then you just run the scripts and it will take your new color with it. So that was a, an idea I had three or four years ago. And I've implemented here as well with Arco Linux because, well, it's sometimes fun to have a different color, right? Just using it. Uh, well, you have a different wallpaper or a different icon to so say, this suits, this is uh, the look I want to have, right? So the assets SVG, these guys are all red. So I guess we have moved on to the next one. And the next one, so aqua, the next one is blood. So blood scripts change the colors again. So the colors, uh, the old um, GitHub, the old working folder has actually already been deleted, but we did not need see it because it goes so fast. It's a script, right? It just goes on running. You can go and have a coffee, come back, and all the themes will be there. But in the meantime, he is now gone to blood color, right? So every little icon in here is going to be now red. And he's going through the motions again and again and again and again. And I tell him to save it as a particular file. And control H in our dot themes that we have created. If it was not there, where are you? Here you are. So that's already done. So the arc theme and arc aqua dark theme there, that's that's done. That's one theme with three variations, right? So this is just ready to rock and roll. And in here we have the changed words. So it's gonna be arc aqua darker, arc aqua darker, arc aqua darker. So everywhere, every operating system, no, excuse me. Well, yeah, every operating system, but also every desktop is going to read things differently. I've discovered that because, well, you have 15 desktops, right? So some of them look at the, the folder name and some of them look at the name that's in here in index theme. So you better change everything. So that's what he's doing. I have too much files open. Bam. So he's doing his work. I'm going to take a coffee and basically in a few hours time, you'll get an update. And that's the end of the video. Cheers.